Let's talk about men. Facts about men. Listen to me. Let me tell you something. Every man, including a little boy, has the instinct of dictating disrespect and dishonor from your ways and your actions towards them. They feed on honor and the respect. They value it over food. Do all you like to a man, but don't touch his honor and the respect. They hate it when they are talking to you and you are talking back at them. They also hate it when they are talking and you are walking away from them. They hate to be challenged by their women. Challenging him is searing up the best in him. And that is unprofitable for you. I personally found out that these people can do anything for their peace of mind. Even it makes them look like a coward. When a man loses his peace at home, then his life is about to relocate to another place. To seek it with anyone who can give it to him. When a man is complaining about a particular thing, then he has reached his breaking points of endurance. So do your best to pay attention to that and to find a way to help him. Whenever he's angry or talking to you, he expects you to pay attention and don't talk back at him. If he decides to be silent, please don't force word out of his mouth. Because your calmness can reduce the tone of his voice. Especially at that point he's shouting at you. Now let me shock you, the silence of a woman scares a man naturally. Of course it scares them naturally. A man can do anything to make sure he finds out what went wrong. Let me tell you another thing eh? A man can never ever be too busy for the woman he loves. All you need is to be loyal to him and leave the rest for them. What a man actually wants for his woman after everyday activities is peace of mind. Keep the issues away from him until he has refreshed and eaten his food. Don't bug him too much. He just returned. Allow him to relax. Allow him to take his bed. Feed him. Then every other thing can come later. Another thing is, whenever a man gets a gift for his woman, it means he has thought about her so deeply before doing so. A man is not always far from his investment. I want you to know that. He either carries it in his mind or he go with it everywhere he goes. Again, it's that men love sex, but women prefer love making because men, they are all not to just have sex. They knock, they come out something for them. But we, we prefer love making because we are emotional beings. Another thing I want to say is, you know, they say men don't cry. But I want to tell you that men shed the most honest tears after children. Since they rarely show emotions. Anything we make man cry, they shed tears, he pass on. Unlike women, we cry at any slightest thing, but not the same as men. Every man you see has a baby side of them. Men are big babies that yearn for deep pampering and petting. And I tell you, this is why they don't see themselves as being too old to be pampered by their women. They love petting just as we love petting. Again, men are good in flattering. Yet in their flattering lies, their true intentions towards you, either for value or consumption, a man who finds peace at home with his wife can never sleep outside because he will always be eager to reach home and to bring a man under your control, feed his ego. Feed his ego and he will bring the city to your doorstep. That is how it is, whether you like it or not. Again, men are always secondary to accept any religious beliefs in the family. But women are very easy to conjoin to it. Nothing gives man so much courage like the words of appreciation and encouragement. Especially for his woman when he does something for you. They love it. And finally, no man will joke with the wife who covers his incapabilities before his children. No man. You know something, you can't save a relationship unless the both of you are equally invested. It takes a joint effort to make it work. Because when one person is trying, it is not enough. Love yourself because you are a limited edition. Thank you.